Hi guys, it is a cloudy, breezy, buggy day here at the appropriately named Bugs in a Jar Farm where there is no insect apocalypse going on today. Here on, uh, it is now Tuesday morning, August uh, 10th, 2021, I believe. So I just wanted to give you an update on uh, my story last night. You know, yesterday they released this Code Red for Humanity report. Uh, the United Nations, our latest doomsday forecast for the 21st century. So I went on the mainstream media last night looking for one mention of it. No mention on Yahoo News. No mention on Yahoo News of the latest doomsday report from uh, the United Nations about how fucked we are. So I said, well, okay, let's give them the night. So they have all night, you know, the editors of Yahoo News can uh, spend all night gathering all of the uh, stories covering this, the, you know, this seminal event the latest IPCC We Are So Fucked report. So tomorrow there will probably be a dozen stories on uh, the mainstream media uh, about the Code Red for Humanity warning. So I go on the mainstream media. It is now 9 o'clock on uh, It is now, well, not now, but it was, well, it was 8.30 this morning. Uh, I went over to Yahoo News to see what kind of stories had rolled in during the night. All of this commentary from all over the planet about the Code Red for uh, humanity. So I did finally find a story. It was the 67th story. Story number 67 in the mainstream media mentioning the code red for humanity. And of all of the stories, here's what they came up with. And now the sun decides to come out, so I probably cannot read this. Uh, it looks like the bugs have found my, I don't know where my AWOL little dog is. Uh, Sancho, where are you? Anyway, so this is what the editors of Yahoo News came up with was this one story out of the week. UN report makes the case for Democrats' climate spending and more. Yes, a new UN report confirms what the record-setting fires and smoky skies, yes, these smoky skies over much of America's, uh, much of America have been making clear for weeks. The world is hot and getting hotter. Some of the damage is irreversible and humans are going to suffer greatly as a result. It is difficult to read the news and not feel a fair amount of despair for the world our children are inheriting. Despair can easily curdle. Despair can easily curdle into inaction. Yes. Things are bad, but we can and we must still take action to ensure they don't get even worse. Every bit of warming matters and every bit of avoided warming matters, one expert told CNN. So, where do we start? Where do we start? Probably with the Democrats' new three and a half trillion dollar budget proposal. Yes, it is a, an infrastructure package, a three and a half trillion dollar infrastructure uh, package. Yes, where we are supposed to start saving the planet 
by giving China a run for the uh, the Belt and Road Initiative. You know, the Biden Belt Road, uh, the Biden Belt and Road Initiative. I anyway, guys, they actually, I guess, with a straight face, are suggesting that politicians are going to turn this train around uh, by throwing more infrastructure on the face of the planet to save the planet. Uh, I will not insult your intelligence uh, by going any further with this unadulterated horseshit uh, because I have mentioned, I think, you know, that Yahoo News, what it started doing recently, you know, judging on my Doomer history of looking up stories, uh, that Yahoo News periodically their little bots go through and they pick out the stories that I should be, that I, as a Doomer, <clears throat> should be most interested in. Uh, you know, so, they, so every few days I get my little roundup of doom and gloom. So this is the number one story. The number one story, not the 67th story, the number one story in the Yahoo News Doomer Roundup because Yahoo News thought that I should know this and I guess share it with you. And this is coming straight out of Yahoo News. You know, this is their own news stories. And so this is how Yahoo News itself is spinning this story, although they do not spin it on the, you know, on the general audience news, but they make this the number one story for Doomers. Yes. Seven steps you can take now to help avert the worst climate change consequences. All right. Finally, some news Doomers can use. Seven steps we Doomers can take to, what was it, to help avert the worst climate change consequences. They do not say, at least they do not say seven step, steps you can take to avert climate change consequences they at least tone it down to help avert the worst climate change consequences. Okay, we are going to learn seven ways to save the planet. And now the sun has come out on this uh, glossy screen. Who was it yesterday saying that glossy computer screens were the stupidest invention in human history? on this $1,600 computer that I cannot read outside. Okay. Monday's release of the latest grim assessment from the United Nations IPCC makes clear that global warming will continue to intensify over the coming decades and that as a result of human inaction to curb greenhouse gas emissions, extreme weather events will continue to worsen. In a year that has already seen deadly heat waves, raging wildfires, and unprecedented flash flooding that have all been linked to rising global temperatures, there has been ample evidence to back up the IPCC's conclusion. The landmark new assessment uh, concludes that human activity is largely at fault for a rise in average global temperatures of 1.1 degrees Celsius so far, but, but humankind still has the power to keep the mercury from rising even further if a concerted effort is undertaken at once. 
Yes, this is Valerie Mason Delmont said yesterday, quote, if we reduce emissions to net zero by 2050, we can keep temperatures as close, we can keep temperatures close to one and a half C above, you know, the pre-industrial baseline. Yeah, so in the net, we have 30 years to uh, reach this mythical, unadulterated horseshit net zero emissions 30 years from now and the planet is saved. Uh, other IPCC members were quick to note that time is running out. Yes, this is an unnamed uh, senior advisor uh, for climate at NOAA, quote, unless we make immediate, rapid, and large-scale reductions in greenhouse gas emissions, limiting warming to one and a half C will be beyond reach. Yes, each bit of warming will intensify the impacts we are likely to see, close quote. Okay, while those large scale reductions require a concerted government plan, well, guys, the temperature just rose too much and I cannot read this bullshit story. So let me turn the, uh, We're going to go inside the, the Sancho Sheraton tiny house to, uh, we're going to give my little bed partner Dulcinea, Dulcinea needs to sit in on this. There you go, darling. You get a front row seat for the rest of this rant. Okay. Maybe I can read the end of the world from here. I don't even know if I'm, uh, who knows, if I'm even in the damn camera. Okay, where were we? <clears throat> While those large-scale reductions require a concerted government plan to curb emissions, the report also stresses that individual actions are needed as well as a shift in the global mindset about the challenges that scientists and activists have long been warned lie ahead. Lie ahead. And then, of course, they quote, Greta Thunberg, Greta Thunberg, quote, we can still avoid the worst consequences, said St. Greta Thunberg, but not if we continue like today, and not without treating the crisis like a crisis. All right. Thank you, Greta Thunberg, for letting us know we can still avoid the worst consequences. Obviously, Greta Thunberg is not quite a doomer chick. Dulcinea, would you like to uh, tell Greta Thunberg what it's like to be a doomer chick and to understand how fucked we are. Dulcinea knows goddamn well. I don't know why they're not. Uh... So, Dulcinea, would you come on and say something? We're fucked! We are so fucked! Thank you, Dulcinea. Uh, anyway, where were we? While it is easy to slip into climate despair, there are steps to be taken that, though insufficient to solve the problems posed by climate change, there are steps to be taken that, while they will mean nothing, attempt to keep the worst consequences at bay and here we go again 
Let's see. Take a wild guess. Eat less meat. Yes. Uh, eat less meat. How about number two? Reduce food waste. Clean your plate of all the vegetables. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, number three, of course, adopt clean energy alternatives. Yes. Hmm. We get the Green New Deal. Don't forget, plant a lot of trees. What are you doing, little dog? Are you back? Plant a lot of trees. Yes. Because trees help remove excess carbon dioxide from the atmosphere by the process of photosynthesis, it is imperative that people reverse deforestation in places like the Amazon and plant more trees. So you are going to reverse deforestation in the Amazon rainforest. You personally are going to reverse deforestation in the Amazon by planting a tree in Poughkeepsie. Yes. One study found that humans could avert the worst ravages of climate change by planting a forest roughly double the size of the United States. Okay. While you're doing while you're out planting a forest double the size of the United States to reverse deforestation uh, on the planet, why don't you get your clueless fucking moron ass out of that airplane? Cut down on flying. Yes. Uh, while most U.S. airlines have pledged to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2050, getting to that goal will be tricky. Yeah, so in the meantime, experts say that if you must fly, the following steps can help reduce your carbon footprint. Fly economy take direct flights, and this is a real interesting one for the chemtrail wackos. How about this one? Book daytime flights to cut down on creating heat trapping contrail and cirrus clouds at night. So this is, you know, one of the reasons that uh, I, you know, I used to be a chemtrail wacko for years. You know, I was one of these Dane Wigington followers for years until I pulled my fucking head out of my ass. And, and one of the reasons I pulled my head out of my ass, see, I thought what uh, these chemtrails had to be was this secret New World Order operation uh, to reflect the heat you know, using these chemtrails to reflect the heat out. But then I started noticing, like on moonlit nights, that they were still making these, th these fucking chemtrails all night long. And I started thinking, why the fuck uh, would they be creating chemtrails during the night? Wouldn't that work like a blanket on a water heater and trap heat in? Which is one of the reasons I came to my fucking uh, back to my right mind and understood that chemtrails, or what do they call these, contrail and cirrus clouds <clears throat> are an accidental byproduct of global industrial civilization. Okay, what number are we on? Uh, I've lost track. Is weather rise? Nope. I guess weatherizing your home is number six. Put some weather stripping 
around the doors of your five bedroom house. Uh, make sure that your five children's uh, you know windows are weather stripped. And of course tying back in with the 67th biggest story on the planet vote with climate change in mind. Yes. Uh, elect politicians that have pledged to save the planet. Leave it to the politicians to save the planet. Anyway, guys, obviously, obviously it goes without saying that, uh, that not breeding, not breeding, uh, is the only way at this point to save the planet. And even that ain't going to save the fucking planet at this point, but at least will save the life of your unborn child. So I am happy to report Dulcinea. You're not a breeder, are you? No, Hambo. I am not a breeder. Yes, one more reason I love this woman is she is not a breeder. Good for you, girl. You can go have all of the cheeseburgers you want, and you can fly to Mars and back. <clears throat> Anyway, I got to go find my itinerant dog. And, uh, yes, we need to put on our other shirt, and we're going to see what Caitlin Johnstone, uh, her comments. We're going to go over, if you go over there to Collapse Chronicles, we're going to check in with Caitlin Johnstone to hear her response to the new IPCC report coming up over there. Bye guys.